This is the Surrey AM225 EU review. And I'm gonna do a quick review, a two minute review before I give you the whole full on boring review. So this is a $200 tripod. It is carbon fiber. It weighs about 750 grams without the head and 950 grams with the head. It's got four section legs, which are very nice and smooth. And I like how they open on their own, even though they're carbon fiber. And this is spec time. Surrey sent me this tripod for free without asking me anything and I decided to make a review for it because I do love it, love it. The full height of this tripod is 120 centimeters and the minimum height is seven centimeters. Because it does not have a center column, it can go super, super low. And because it doesn't have a center column, it doesn't go super, super high. This is what it looks like next to the indoor. I'll put the full name for it. Uh, it is also carbon fiber. It, co it cost I think $130 back then, now it's 80. And you can see that it's much longer but if you look at it that way, it is much, much thinner. This is what it looks like in a bag also. I could actually put two of these in my wonder bag, whereas this one barely fit in it because it's so thick. And also it's a terrible tripod, do not get the indoor one. And it also comes with extra spikes here to use outdoor. It does have an accessory mount hole on the side. It also has a screw mount on the bottom in order to put on a hook and add more weight to weigh it down because it's such a light tripod, you need that. And we have what they call semi-automatic leg angle adjustment buttons. Buttons. And uh, this is how they work. You either lift it up all the way and they stay there, or you only lift it halfway and like such, and the spring does the rest. It does have marking on the last leg section, which makes it very easy to make fine adjustments if you need to. But my favorite thing with this tripod is the dual knob rather than triple knob system here. You have this one for the panning and you have this one big knob here, which does the rest. You don't have a third one. And because of this form factor, it is very easy to tighten it and it holds super well as I'm showing you right now. The 1DX was easily held in place and because this tripod does not have a center column, you can very quickly set it up. It really doesn't require much. I time myself and I think I can set up in like about 20 seconds, whereas the other ones, the traditional ones, it was about 35 seconds. And that can make a difference if you're willing to set up quickly for a shot. And you can easily take the leg off if you need to. Very simple, very quick. This brand also makes waterproof ones, so you should check that out too if you're in the water a lot. So should you get this tripod? My answer is yes. Is this the right tripod for me? Maybe not because I'm so tall and this only goes to 120 centimeters and I'm 195. If I want to film myself, I would have to slouch a bit because I'm that tall. So I would get one with a center column if you're big, but I'm definitely going to use this when I'm traveling because it is so light, it is so compact and I love the feel of it. So I'm sure you understood by now, I do love this tripod. Yes, the Surrey did send me this tripod for free, but they didn't ask me anything in return. They just said, hey, here's a tripod I think you're gonna like, and um, I do love it, so I decided to make a review for it. I'll put the link down in the description for Amazon or their website so you can check them out. Here is my full review now, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and by our channel, I mean my channel, because I'm alone here, and hit the like button and share it if you want it. Share it if you want it. First of all, let's look at the size comparison. And because the legs can fully fall back, you do get a smaller size tripod. But if you look at it this way, I can fully grab this one and wrap my fingers around it. Whereas this one, it's not even close to it. This is the Mi Photo and this is the Endure. This is carbon fiber, this is not, this is aluminum. And this one is carbon fiber as well. So it is shipped with a non-padded bag, super small. Uh, it's definitely not a thing that I would use, but I don't use them anyway. This one came with a really nice one, a padded one. I just never use it. And you get two wrenches to tighten the bolts and you also get the spikes. If you're gonna be shooting outdoors and you really need something stable on the ground. So just to give you an idea, this is the Endor. I don't know the exact name for it. I paid about $130 for it. Now it's $80 only but you'll see that every single leg feels different. This one is super loose and um, I had to also spray and lube up the, um, the springs here because they were really, really hard 
back in the, when I bought it, I'll, I would have to lube it up again because it's, it's, all, it's acting up again. And you can see that this leg is much harder to, to lower and extend. I just can't get it to work. The, the, the screws keep, keep getting loosened up and I just can't get it to properly stay, especially when I have my camera and I just want to move my tripod. And uh, what I would do is, here we go, what I would do is normally lift it up and when it's fully extended, the legs just close up again. So when I'm putting it back on, it just falls over. I can't say it enough, but this feels like a premium quality. It is. It really does feel amazing. And um, I can only compare it to the Gitzo that Serge Ramelli, my friend, has. And he do loves it. It's an $800 tripod. And this really feels close to it in terms of quality. And if you do need a center column, you can get an extension for $30, which is fairly cheap. I would say, but it would make the whole system even longer because um, it, it's not a center column that can fold inside of it due to its tiny size. One thing that I love is how smooth it is when you're opening it up. And uh, I know they were bragging about it when I saw them at uh, in Paris, but it is true. It is super smooth. I like how it feels. And they also do have little markings here, which I thought were useless, but I did find myself using it when I had to lower and raise the whole tripod. I would just put it at, let's say, 70, and I would put the same thing on all of them rather than just having to equalize it a bit. It makes it much easier to, to do fine adjustments. And it is really quick to fold and unfold. With this one, the problem is when you have to unfold it, you have to lower this, lower this, lower this, extend the legs, and then if you don't want, don't want to have this to be extended, you'll have to fold this back down. So you do waste a bit of time folding it down. I did time myself a bit. I wasn't going as fast as I could, but I was getting around 25 seconds with, these, with this one, and I was getting more in the 35 seconds with this one, especially because it's so flimsy. And um, somehow I do have to twist more to close the legs every now and then. And look at that, it's just, it will not stay in place. So this is what I'm saying, this really feels amazing and everything works well. But the thing that I do love about it is this knob right here. I'll show you right now. I did, I did a few tastes earlier and uh, it's so much easier to tighten the whole head and not have your camera tilt down. Rather than having this knob here, especially this one, the rubbery part is, coming off and you do have to use so much force whereas this one you just tighten it and it's just much much easier and you don't have three knobs you only have two one that does the panning and then one that just controls the overall thing so if you do want to get it a bit smoother um, you can just un untighten it up and that's also the downside of it the third knob is used to control the overall stiffness of the the ball head so with this one you just have to play a bit with it and get used to it but I, I have found myself just unscrewing it way too fast and having the the camera just drop down a bit so just have to be careful about that but I definitely like this type of head way more than the traditional one with three knobs and also to help you out tighten it as, as, as you want you can lift this up and then change and move it in place such a neat feature also such a neat feature also so i'm tightening each head as hard as i can and i'm going to start using one finger to push it to see if i can make it tilt down and as you can see here it is very very easy to push it down super easy using one finger this is a total fail from uh, this tripod So already it's much easier to tighten it on this thing. This should hold much better. Use a finger again. Yeah, this holds well. So I'm using much more force to push it down and especially even more to rise it back up again. It's easier to tighten. And if you need to, you can just move it back into. Uh, so let's use one finger. I can't. Oh, 
All right, so I'm using about as much force as the Mifoto one, which, all right, maybe, maybe more. Wow. Okay, I can't really re lift it up. I mean, it, I could, I really feel like it's gonna, it's not gonna be good for it. And you can see the whole thing bend, so I'm not really, this is not, this is not acting. One thing that I don't like so much is how, you know, because there's only two knobs, it is nice because that's all you have to worry about. You don't have to, you don't have to fiddle with the other ones. I'm always, I'm always turning the wrong knob on those two. It is nice, but you can't really adjust the, the overall friction of it. You can by loosening it up. You just have to play with it. So that's decent, but yeah, if you don't, if you want to quickly open up, whoops, you can easily fall and uh, yeah, and drop. Let's be real. But I love this system of, and because it doesn't have a center column, you can have it super, super low on the ground. It does spread a lot, but then it's super stable that way. If you push it all the way down, it really is a stable system. And the plate that they give you with it is a bit small uh, for my liking. I really don't like when it's too small like that, but I guess it does It does work well for small cameras if you want to stay discreet rather than having a big plate under your camera. I'm also going to show you what it looks like on a bag. You also have like a safety pin here. Very neat. All right, so this is the Wonder Bag, the 31 liter, and I love how I don't have to open up or extend the zipper here because it fits, it's so tiny. I think it's about as small as the new Peak Design one, which I hopefully will be able to try it soon. But here you have it. It does extend a bit high, but whenever I'm using this tripod to travel, I pretty much never fold it, just because it's so much faster to just unfold it and uh, capture the moment. Sometimes I see something happening and I really don't have that much time to, to just unfold the whole system. So I usually end up putting it like this, directly and just to show you the difference well this one ends up being much taller obviously it does fit here as well like that um, I might have to open it a bit just so I don't I don't want to put too much strain on the zipper but it does fit without opening it if you really don't want to open up the zippers and um, it extends much higher when this is folded Oh dear lord, it really is a pain to open up. And also when you're and also when you're folding it, you have to align it, otherwise there you go. Otherwise it takes so much space, but like that it won't fit anymore. So you would you would have to open the whole pocket. Here we go. And now I can't really, I could do this, here we go. I can, I was gonna say I, could, I couldn't tighten up, but I, I can tighten up like that, here we go. So there you have it. So should you buy this tripod? Well, my answer is yes, if you need something small, if you need something light, and you don't need the extended height. That's the one problem that I have, and I wouldn't buy this tripod just because of that. So if I had to buy a new one, I would definitely look for one with a center column where I can extend it a bit, just because I'm that tall, I'm 6'5", and uh, this looks a bit ridiculous when I'm filming myself. I would have to shoot from under, so not really pleasing. But other than that, it's amazing. I'll, I'll be using it definitely every day here in my, my studio because um, it's a neat tripod, and if, I'm, if I have to travel light, it will be perfect. Well, that's it for this review guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, it really does help. And let me know in the comments below what you think about this tripod, if you've tried it, or if you have a better model that I should try, or another brand, I don't care, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I'll be able to compare it to the Peak Design that will arrive soon, so stay tuned for that as well. And thanks again Siri for sending me this tripod for free, really appreciate it, you guys are doing a great, great job, and hopefully I'll be able to try some other stuff soon.